Kelly file segment tonight. Millions of Americans have mentioned have had their phone records analyzed by the National Security Agency. If you are a Verizon customer, the NSA now knows your calling habits. With us to explain what the heck is going on, attorney and Fox News anchor Megan Kelly. What is before we get specifics? What's the headline of this story for you? That it's happening. I don't think it's any more nuanced than that. Apparently, these senators knew who, because they've been briefed by the security agency. Senate Intelligence Committee. They've known for a right. long time, but we have not known right. that our phone records are being collected. And you can bet it's not just Verizon. Um, that's all we know about today. Okay, but it's going to be beyond. Republican Lindsey Graham from South Carolina, Senator, said, hey, it's no big deal. If you're not talking to a terrorist, why should you be worried? Okay, and here's why he said that, and, and hopefully the folks will bear with us, because while these folks on the Senate Intel Committee have known about it for years, we haven't, you haven't, so all of us are trying to get up to speed on exactly what, the, what they've been doing to us and how, for how long and why. What the senators have revealed today is that it's been going on, they say, for seven years, mm -hmm. since 2006. Mm -hmm. The NSA has been getting these phone records from phone companies. Now, all we know for sure is, is Verizon, but I'm sure it's the others as well. They collect the records of numbers we've called, where we were when we made the calls or received the calls, and how long the calls lasted. Sort of basically like a phone bill almost, uh, whatever information can be gleaned from that. They subpoena the information or get the information through this FISA court, this secret court that helps with national security issues. They get it at NSA, the National Security Agency. Now, the question, so that, that was, that's what came out today, that judge, they've been doing it. A judge it. signed, has a, a judge, a judge has to do this, what, every three or four months? Or so there's a re renewing, it, there's sort right. of almost a renewing thing. Right, so so the, ju the judge, the federal judge says, it's okay, yes. go ahead and do it. Yes, but there, but what I'm being told on background by some sources is that the reason the feds are doing this, I'm, I'm not justifying, I'm explaining, is that the phone companies purge the records after a certain amount of time. So if the feds have any potential interest in getting phone records yes. on any you know basis, they need to get them from Verizon and other companies, <laughs> otherwise they're gonna be eliminated. Yeah, Wait, on. let me finish. I'm not uh, justifying, I'm just explaining. Right. So they get them, they hold them at the NSA, and then, according to Senator Dianne Feinstein, a Democrat in the, on the, uh, the Senate Intel Committee, the government can only use the information gathered if there's a reasonable but and articulable a, suspicion that the records relate to terrorist activity. So what she's saying is that it's a data collection thing, yeah, I know, and then to review is, them, here's they why, need to show a higher standard. Okay, but here's why it's all BS. You know what BS stands for, right? Tell me, Bill. Okay, here's why it's all BS. Did you hear about the IRS scandal? Did you hear about the IRS yeah. taking personal information yeah. and feeding it out to left-wing websites? Yeah. Did you hear about that? Yeah. You tell me that can't happen here? Well, Absolutely can happen. So, for example, some conservative senator calls Trixie at the Hot Licks massage parlor, <laughs> all right? Guess who knows it? And guess who can put it out well, that's the question. any time do they, they want? Do they know it or is it knowable? We don't know the answer to that. Yeah, I know the answer to it. Trixie has a number. The senator has a number. The guy goes like this, whoa, no, but that's and zips it out to some uh, website that could hurt the senator. Well, well how is that? Tell me that's not possible. Uh, it is possible. So okay. that's one of the that's questions why we have is, you can't do this. how is it being held at the NSA? Who controls the records? Who controls access? Oh, I'm access? sure it's very efficient, what just exactly, like the IRS. What exactly do they have to go through if they want to review the numbers? Do Nothing. They, have to, they no, don't have to go through anything because they sit there and they have the numbers and they can play all day long with no, them. No, but Diane Feinstein is suggesting they're, they're, they still have to go through the additional okay. layer of Kelly, Kelly. If they want to look at the records Kelly, they've collected. Good. You're telling me that Diane Feinstein's protecting my privacy? Is that what you're sitting here well, and you're telling that's me? The Is that what you're telling me? Okay. Diane Feinstein protecting my privacy. You know that makes me feel good. Hey you guys, that make you feel good? <laughs> All right. Is everybody happy with Diane Feinstein Listen, protecting our privacy? You, raise you the guys point. happy out there? Can I tell you this? You raise the point because you, you're Because I'm brilliant. You're on point. Thank you. You're on point tonight yes. because we just looked at a Quinnipiac poll, poll that showed President Obama's trust among yeah. the American voters has fallen 20 net points uh, over let's, the past Let's few leak weeks. that out. Okay, 20. <laughs> he, he used to have a 20-point favorability yeah. when it came to, tr came to Trump. I hope now the president, neck neck. I hope the the, president hasn't so, called anybody that he shouldn't call. And so the problem is now yeah. people are the, the erosion of trust in our government. And do we, w maybe years ago we would have thought the NSA wouldn't have shared or wouldn't have looked. You know, without, Kelly, but now there are going to be questions. You know, I, I like having you on a program because you always make me feel better. You really do. <laughs> this is Diane Feinstein. I now know. Not to worry. Protecting no. my privacy. <laughs>
and I feel a lot better about it. More with Miss Megan in a moment. The worst 